Hi, uh, today I'd like to tell you about a series of books that I've been looking at over the last few days. Um, books that are to do with history. But before I tell you about the books, um, let me just talk to you a little bit about history and the way children, and indeed adults, are taught about history. Now, the word history, what do you usually think about when you hear the word history? Most people think history is boring, most people think that history is useless, but history is not boring or useless. But the way that we are taught history in our schools is usually dates and and uh, events so that it's, it's just not interesting. It's really boring. But history is full of characters, people like Winston Churchill, Thomas Edison and Charles Darwin. These people are amazingly interesting historical figures and if we can learn about their lives, we can learn about the interesting stories that surround their lives. History also teaches us about our culture and it can also teach us about our ancestors' mistakes and indeed their triumphs. So, how do we make history interesting for our kids? The book series Who has developed a very, very interesting and indeed I would use the word fascinating way of teaching history to our children. And they do this through iconic historical, historical figures. People such as Steve Jobs, who recently died, Walt Disney and Winston Churchill, for example. These are just three books that I've recently read. And The Who so Story tells us about their lives and about how they grew up in the world that they grew up. But they do this in a very unique way. They do this in a cartoon series. It's like a, a strip cartoon. But the stories follow very easily and very simply. The characters in the, in the cartoon books are, I, I, I would use the word cute, but they're also quite accurate um, pictures of the real people. Now I want to tell you about one person that I read about. I know about Steve Jobs and I come from England and of course I know about Winston Churchill, but Walt Disney. Walt Disney is a guy that of course I've heard about, I knew who he was, I knew what he created. I know, for instance, like probably all of you do, that Walt Disney created Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. But what I didn't know was how Walt Disney grew up. And I found this book very interesting because in the book I learned that Walt Disney grew up on a farm and life was really, really, really tough. Every day Walt Disney had to work on the farm with his brothers. And if they missed a day because they were sick or because they were hurt, their father would not let them have any dinner. So every single day, seven days a week, they had to, to work on the farm. Now it wasn't just a few hours, it was eight to ten hours, maybe twelve hours a day. But Walt Disney had a problem. Walt Disney discovered very, very early on that he loved to draw. And drawing was a passion in him. And because he was growing up on a farm, Walt Disney actually started drawing the animals which were surrounding him on the farm. Now when Walt Disney grew up, he got a job with an illustration company. Um, in those days it would be, they were just drawing advertising because we didn't have computers and graphic design in those days. And so he was an illustrator for an advertising company. Unfortunately, uh, Walt Disney was quite revolutionary and the, the movie makers uh, the clients did not like the style of posters that he was creating and unfortunately he, he got fired from his first job. But Walt Disney was a very determined person and so what he did was, along with a friend of his, they decided to start their own advertising company and they drew their own pictures and over a period of time the company grew and yeah of course there were a few ups and downs and it wasn't all success, success, success but eventually we ended up with Disney pictures and as they say the rest is history. We have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs which was their first movie I believe. Uh, we have Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, 
Goofy. We have so many characters that came about through this story that uh, the book really tells very, very, very well. Now, these books are not just interesting. These books, to me, I felt were quite inspiring because it shows people in a, it shows our children in a really, really simple way that these people, people like Winston Churchill, Warren Buffett, and all these people you see here, they were just like you and me when they were growing up. They took their chances, and these books show very clearly how they became very successful. And after all, history is really all about stories. That's what history is. It's the story of our past. And these series of books, who? really tell that story in a, in, a, in a wonderful, wonderful way, and an easy way to follow. Now, not only are these books available in Korean, they're also available in English, so you can read them side by side. So you're actually, as we say in English, killing two birds with one stone. You're actually learning history, and you can help to improve your English at the same time. So, no more boring history, just amazing stories from amazing people that everybody knows about. And really that's all I wanted to tell you about The Who. It's a very, very, very good book of series. As you can see, there are many, many people featured. Abraham Lincoln, uh, Bill Gates, Charles Darwin. I mean, you name them. Even Kim Dae-jung is actually in these books. And again, he's got a great story to tell. So, that's what I feel about these books. Very, very interesting. And thank you very much for listening.